What's up, everybody? So, I was thinking about my brain. Or you could say, my brain was thinking about itself. And it occurred to me that we also call our brains gray matter. Which first is scientifically incorrect, because gray matter makes 40% of the brain, while the other 60% is actually made of white matter. But it's also a bit sad that the organ processing infinite colors, sounds, smells, tastes and textures is labeled as gray. But in this case, if we live to the metaphor, our lives should be dedicated to coloring that gray matter. And this concept deserves its own illustration. So this is the making of video of that illustration. In terms of style, I'm going for something close to a previous work I did titled Mushroom Dreaming of Magic. So I will be using graphite, watercolors, gouache, ink and markers. Let's go. So to begin, I transfer the drawing of a brain that I did separately using anatomical pictures. I transfer it on my watercolor paper using tracing paper. I don't want too much graphite on the watercolor paper because it could mix with the paint and make it dirty. So here I'm tracing the little folds in the brain with my graphite pencil because I want it to be quite precise. This is, you could say, the cerebral part of the painting. Then it's time for watercolor. So I start off by putting water everywhere around the central drawing. And then I just go very loose, just using a, a color and then using its complementary color. So I go orange, blue, green, red, then I'll go yellow and purple. And this is the first layer, so it's very loose. It's just meant to create a dynamic background that I'll be using later on for the second layer. So I'm speeding up the drying process with a hairdryer. And then I'm going right ahead with the second layer using gouache. First mixing up an orange and laying it on its complementary blue color. And I'll just be moving on, creating a movement with smaller brush strokes moving from one color to the other and trying to create a kind of dynamic swirl coming towards the brain and coloring it. This part of the process is a lot of fun because I'm really going with the feeling of it. It's mostly abstract. I'm not copying anything. I'm not trying to make it look like anything. I'm just trying to express a metaphor by combining an abstract movement in the background and a central real element, which is the brain. Watercolor and gouache are actually a great mix of mediums. They're almost the same medium. Gouache is just opaque watercolors and they allow so many different effects. Like in the beginning, I did something very loose that I couldn't control, but that gave an interesting result. And now I'm using the opaque version of watercolors, so gouache, to put more details in there and actually put every brush stroke where I want it. So the movement and the swirl in the background is really coming along and I'm just jumping from one color to the other trying to accentuate it and change the value a little bit to create those four separate streams coming inside of the brain. Now the last step in this illustration is to finish the brain in the middle. So I'm inking in the folds with different pens and then I'll be moving on to markers to create some shadows and thus more volume in the brain. I'm obviously only using grays because that's the whole point of the illustration. And I'm also using a white ink pen to make some corrections inside the shadow shape. So 
So there you go. This is the final illustration. Thank you for watching this making of video and feel free to tell me in the comments what do you do to color your gray matter?